Hey y'all, McFast here. Uh, for this episode of uh, race car setup tips, I thought I'd cover our aerodynamics as far as uh, the racer is concerned, not the speed run guys, but the track guys. Um, some of this carries over. Um, I'm sort of reluctant to cover um, the aerodynamics on the speed run side because there seems to be um, already a paradigm of how things work and um, I don't want to create any kind of a conflict in the community um, I'm not saying what they're saying is wrong uh, by no means but uh, I'm just going to stick to the race car part of it as far as racing whether it be road course um, or dirt oval like this is this is that's why my bench is so messy. Um, after I got the new medicine from the doctor, I have felt a lot better. And uh, I got my uh, Custom Works Rocket Stage 3 Pro Competition chassis put together with a protoform nor'easter or nor'easter body on it. Um, and to move this along quickly, um, as you can tell by the shape of the nose, this huge flat area with a splitter, if you'll notice down here on the splitter, let me see if I can get a sideways shot that might help a little better. That splitter has a downward angle to it. And then it hits another lip which has an upper angle. And actually, this lower angle depending on the attitude of the chassis it's flat but right now the way it is it's tilted down when the car's under power it's going to lift up slightly and create a flat area and um, at any rate as you can see the big old slope of this nose I'll let you do the calculations it's 10 inches wide from side to side so you've got a 2 inch by 10 inch, 20 square inches of downforce right there on this body. Some of it's going to come up. Why they put this bar in here, I'm not 100% sure, but that's going to be a detachment point. Air will actually detach from the car at this location, and of course, there's going to be air coming right through here, but I believe what they're trying to do is detach the air so it hits the roof and gives down force and then the spoiler isn't on there right now but you have the deck lid which has a two inch tall spoiler and that's going to create a, a ton of down force on the rear now this is a two wheel drive car so that's going to be a desirable thing but you're going to have to tune um, your arrow and be able to separate out well is it an arrow issue um, or is it a chassis issue um, you can correct chassis issues with aerodynamics um, it's almost like a crutch you need to get the chassis as fast as it can possibly be uh, without aggressive aerodynamics and then tune in the aerodynamics to enhance what you already have set up as far as chassis goes it's a it's a should be used as a fine-tuning aid just like uh, the weight and the piston uh, or the shock weight oil and the piston in your shocks is a fine-tuned item the aerodynamics really is a coarse tune in this regard on the dirt light model because every change is big it's not a won't be subtle um, you should be able to tell the effects of the change also one thing I want you to notice on this car and I'll see if I can zoom in there so you can get a good picture of it but if you will notice you see how this lip right here over the front tires hangs out that's to block the air to keep it from going inside the car. Now, of course, if you've watched Dirt Lake models, you'll know they're rolled way over on the side. 
lifted way up on the left side so <clears throat> they're going to have pretty good ceiling over here on the right side of the car which is great because what you're dealing with in, at, at this stage of the game is side force. If you watch NASCAR and you watch them crab leg down the, the front stretch that's because they have the car mounted or the chassis going straight but they've actually took and turned the body so that it's creating side force even down the straightaway to improve bite coming off and then as it goes into entry into the corner it's already providing a stable aerial platform forcing the car down forcing the back end of the car down which means they can run the car looser and increase turnability of the car so at any rate that's on the dirt late model now if you look at